Hi, my name is Daniela Rossi and I am a cartoonist who stutters. I know that stuttering can make speaking situations embarrassing, so Frankie Banky here will help me demonstrate four ways to living the life that you want in spite of your stuttering. Item number one, tell people that you stutter. Many people don't know what stuttering is when they see or hear it. Our problem, in fact, isn't stuttering. It's the lack of awareness of stuttering in the world. And we are the only ones who can spread awareness. Having a sense of humor always helps, helps too, as it creates a friendlier connection. So when you tell someone that you stutter, you also put the two of you at ease. That person knows what's going on, and you know that you could be at ease stuttering openly because that person knows what's going on as well. All this can seem scary at first, but after giving it a try only a few times, it won't feel scary anymore. Item number two, practice keeping natural eye contact. I know it can be hard to keep eye contact as you're stuttering, and it can feel safe to look away, but making eye contact creates a connection with the person who you are speaking to. Like item number one, making eye contact may seem scary at first, but after giving it a try only a few times, it won't feel scary anymore. Item number three is get out of your stuttering comfort zone as often as possible. Try to stutter openly in different speaking situations. For example, asking a stranger for the time. Instead of sending a text message to someone, make a phone call. Or ordering food without pointing at a menu. I've done that myself many, many times. I know all this sounds scary, just like the other two items, but the more you expose yourself to anything in life that you fear, the less scared that you will become. Even to the point of giving a presentation in front of a group, this also happened to me. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Remember, stuttering is never the issue. The issue is the lack of awareness. Also, keep in mind, it's not how you say that is important. It's what you say. And finally, the fourth item is to hang out with others who stutter. You will feel better hanging out with others who understand exactly what you have been going through. You can also share tips and celebrate each step out of your comfort zone. And soon, stuttering won't feel so bad as before. You can meet other people who stutter online all across social media networks and on forums like Stutter Social at StutterSocial.com. You can also meet people who stutter offline at stuttering support groups in your area and stuttering conferences all around the world. I can attest that the global stuttering community is made up of an awesome, friendly, and very helpful bunch of people. To recap, one, tell people that you stutter and do your part in spreading stuttering awareness. Two, practice making natural eye contact. Three, make frequent trips out of your comfort zone. It's the only way you will grow. And four, hang out with others who stutter because life is easier when you spend time with people who share the same experiences that are unique to those of us who stutter. And that's it. More tips are available on my website at stutteringiscool.com. And may your stuttering always be with confidence. Ciao.